Aloha mai kako. My name is Peter Apo, and I'm a candidate for the Office of Hawaiian Affairs Trustee at Lodge. I encourage you to go to my website, peteraporoha.com, for a dive into the primary issues I would raise with the OHA Board of Trustees for consideration and action if I'm elected. Two questions. What is OHA's purpose, and why should you vote in the OHA election? One of my primary concerns is that many non-Hawaiian voters who do vote on other races tend to refrain from voting for OHA. Some because they don't believe OHA is relevant to their lives. Many believe that Hawaiians should be left alone to elect their own leaders. Most who don't vote don't vote because they don't know who to vote for. Most important is that Hawaiians turn out to vote for their own leaders. And I would urge every eligible voter, Hawaiian or not, to cast an informed vote in this year's OHA election. OHA, you know, is an important part of Hawaii's economic equation with its land holdings, multi-million dollar investment portfolio, a plethora of programs and services. OHA is the only major Hawaiian economic institution whose leaders, the trustees, are subject to the vote of the entire Hawaii electorate. And in the course of doing business, the money from OHA flows into the Hawaiian economy in the form of jobs, supplies, equipment, consulting services, vendor contracts, construction projects, commercial re real estate, you name it. They also provide grants and aid support to scores of private, nonprofit, community-based organizations. Hawaiian money is colorblind, and there's no doubt that OHA has an impact on the Hawaii economy and its growth. Let me now quickly framework the fundamental intent leading to OHA's existence. The 1978 constitutional amendment that created OHA as a quasi-state agency outside any direct overs oversight authority of the legislature or the governor provided that OHA be governed by an elected board of nine trustees. The amendment originally called for a Hawaiians only voting eligibility which was unfortunately struck down by the Hawaii Supreme Court. So, OHA trustees are subject to the vote of all Hawaii registered voters. OHA has an obligation to address the underlying purpose of the constitutional amendment that created them to serve as a center of gravity in navigating a statewide discussion among Hawaiians and their institutions on how to pursue self-determination which in this case translates to self-governance. And to calm the fearful, self-governance does not necessarily translate to seeking independence from the United States. There are many, many models of Native American and Pacific Island self-governance that does not require giving up American citizenship. OHA's top priorities must include managing the self-determination slash self-governance discussion. I thank you, mahalo, for lending your ear. For complete information about my campaign, please go to my website, peteraporoha.com, peteraporoha.com. For your convenience, the website also lists all the other at-large candidates for your easy reference so you can check it out as your voting options. Aloha. Aloha. This is Leona Kalima, and I'm running for the Office of Hawaiian Affairs Trustee at Large. I think some of you know my background, the Kalima case, and I want you to know it wasn't only me. I just represented the ones that were the most numbered. Mr. Ching represented 456, went to the ledge, and Ben Cayetano vetoed it. Mrs. Bonner, 56, went through the panel, never went to the ledge. The people I represented uh, never went to the hearing. So I want you to know that that's the kind of work that I do. Now, why I'm running is not only for Hawaiians, but it's for Hawaii Ne and what I see coming down, the road for what is going to happen for us, okay? I think we're gonna have more urban sprawl than we want. Look at Kaka'ako. 
After COVID, I was home like two years. I retired and everything. But then I went to town for Walmart. And I saw all these buildings. Is that what we want in Hawaii? That's something we have to really think about, OK? I want to do a couple of things. One is to look at the 999-year homestead leases. OHA dropped the ball on that when administration and trustees were changed. These people are living in tents because their house is so corroded, but they can't afford the taxes. So I've already introduced this project, and I want to move less than 20 homesteads from Department of Land and Natural Resources into Department of Hawaiian Homelands. I want to create wealth. So our Kaka'ako property that has the old Navy X pack on, on its property, we want to sell two properties. I want to sell two properties in Kaka'ako, use the money to get the asbestos out of that building and make it an economic development hub. And I want to do that on every island. Apparently, the state is back on their ceded land revenue. We'll take buildings, we'll take land, and every island will have an economic hub. Now, a couple of things we have to look at also. Why Hole Waikane and Kahana Valley, those leases are coming up, if not up and extended. I hear there's 40,000 homes that want to be built out there. What is going to be the issue? Water. Look at the lands. Dole might be pooling out soon. Look at those lands. I wouldn't go look. Acres, of course, you know, I haven't been around the island for a while. I knew there was acres, but acres. What's that going to look like? And what's going to be the problem? Water. So I want you all to maka'ala in some of these things that are coming down the pike. Alawai. Something's happening there. They want to make clean water. My mom swam in that Alawai canal. But I suspect further um, improvements to be done. Buildings, no, ah, ole. I want to see the old golf course, Alawai golf course, a central park like New York. Keep the green spaces green, do some stuff in there, and see what we can do to keep that land as a park not as a high-rise, bottom-level ground. No. Ah, uh, ole. Another concept I have, and I got to tell you, I'm running out of time, but I'd like to introduce lottery. OK? OK, that may be a mm word, but how about it? How about sending our money there, we keep it here? Lottery, or mega bucks, Powerball. People will be selling the tickets. The businesses will be making money. The state will be making money. Yeah? And then maybe they can pay us our ceded land revenue, 20%. And we're going to use that for every island to create those economic hubs. So people, vote for me. Please, this is the last time I'm going to run, and this is the last time you're going to stand for me to be your trustee. Also, I'm going to add, and they're going to probably get pissed, Oprah. You guys, John, uh, no, Dwayne Johnson, Jason Momoa, hey, Roseanne Baugh, come talk to us. We want to partner with you here in Hawaii, Ne, where you make your second home. Oh, yeah, Mark on Kauai. We're open to discussion. Thank you. Aloha. And I thank you for your vote. Aloha mai kako. I am former OHA trustee Brendan Kale Aina Lee. During my first year in office, I was tasked to chair several permitted interaction groups. Under my leadership, a new governance model was unanimously adopted by the Board of Trustees that provides greater transparency and accountability. Part of this new governance model was the creation of the new Lahui level policies that lay a foundation of Ohas Kuleana to Hawaiian language, protecting and exercising native rights regarding land, water, sacred places, and iwi kupuna while strengthening family and community, perpetuating culture, knowledge, and practices, and engaging in national and international indigenous contexts. New policies were adopted to address the differences between OHA, the state agency, and OHA, the trust. I was also the chair of a group with updating the Board of Trustees bylaws for the first time in 13 years. 
I helped to begin the move toward an endowment model for the Native Hawaiian Trust. After analysis of the trust, I wanted to know why OHA was investing in hedges rather than taking advantage of being the 13th largest landowner in the state. OHA's land holdings are now included in the Native Hawaiian Trust portfolio. As part of this work, I began to work to rebalance the Native Hawaiian Trust portfolio to redistribute OHA's investments, taking into account its land holdings to maximize greater profits while lowering the overall risk to the portfolio. I also came up with the idea for and led the effort to acquire two land parcels in Ivrile adjacent to OHA's headquarters. This is significant because all these properties are within Honolulu's transit-oriented development corridor, which will allow OHA to take advantage of all the entitlements that come with the development along the rail line. This is a major step forward for OHA to address the critical affordable housing crisis Native Hawaiians are facing. Unfortunately, in the two years since I left office, nothing has been done to move this effort forward. The last thing I was tasked with before leaving office was to chair an ad hoc committee to come up with policies and investigate OHA's constitutional right to issue revenue bonds. Since I left office, nothing has been done to complete this work. While OHA has its 15-year strategic plan, Mana'i Maoli Ola, in place, so much more still needs to be done. With your help, I will return to OHA and continue my history of collaborative leadership with issues that still need to be addressed, such as OHA's continued fight for public land trust equity, completing the rebalancing of the Native Hawaiian Trust portfolio, updating OHA's investment, debt, and cash management policies to align with OHA's new endowment model, developing a collaboration with the Department of Hawaiian Homelands to address the affordable housing crisis and develop Kakaokumakai with a viable master plan and stop wasting resources on the unrealistic goal of waterfront affordable housing. Over the last two years, OHA has wasted $3 million on a once again failed effort to lobby the state legislature to change the law to allow housing developments in Kaka'akomakai. A vote for Brendan Kaleaina Lee for OHA is a vote for action, a vote for progress, not promises, and a vote for leadership. I am Brendan Kaleaina Lee, and with your support, I will bring back leadership and results to OHA. Mahalo. Aloha kako, Oval Luan, Mahiki Langford Favorito from Ho'olehua, Molokai. I am running for the Office of, Affa of Hawaiian Affairs, Molokai Lanai Island Trustee. I'm born on Molokai, educated and worked on O'ahu, and then returned to our Ohana homestead here in Ho'olehua. I am a third generation homesteader. Living on Molokai and interacting in our community at my grandson's events, schools, doctors, markets, everything connects me to the island. And my pilina within this community allows me to share and collaborate with others. As a person of depth, I am willing to, to share my knowledge and help others. I really want to amplify the voices of our Native Hawaiians and for the needs of the people on Molokai. My resume is a little deep and wide in our many Lahui organizations. I am a Hawaiian Civic Club member for over 17 years. I am a Holehua Homesteaders Association member and executive board member. I'm part of the Royal Societies, the Royal Order of Kamehameha Navahine, and over 28 years in the Paniolo and Rodeo organizations. I am a former board member of the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancements. Um, being active and involved in the community at all these events, our town halls, our county meetings, DMAPs, this allows me to know what our needs are and for the Native Hawaiians on this island. In addition, volunteering to sit on the many county boards and commission seats helps for me to be a part of policy making issues. I know Molokai residents needs their trustee to be present and approachable. Walking into the office and asking questions and seeking out help in matters that the Office of Hawaiian Affairs can help each and every Native Hawaiian. And there are very, a lot of different resources that the Office of Hawaiian Affairs is able to share with our Native Hawaiians that are in need, that do have some kind of 
need for assistance in different things. Maybe it's a, a loan or some kind of grant in different programs that they are looking into. I wanted to reach out and, and try to change the narrative. The past four years has been a little difficult and I would prefer to have more access to a trustee who is on ILIV actively engaging with our community. Molokai has specific needs, especially for our aging kupuna, our long-term care facility, specifically higher education needs for our keiki and opio so that they may get good paying jobs that keeps them here in the state of Hawaii instead of them moving away. Too many of our native Hawaiians have, have left the state and based on the census numbers, it's very staggering and unfortunate that they now outnumber the amount of native Hawaiians that actually live here in the Pai Aina. Our island's climate and emergency planning is underway and the residents learning the importance and especially those homestead communities on the shorelines. These are very focused issues for residents here on Molokai, especially our homestead. What I found very interesting in our 2020 election, there was 579,000 ballots. And of those ballots, 359 were cast, of which 220 were blank. That's a total of 38% of the voters that did not engage in the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. And I find that very astounding. I ask that you support uh, my efforts. I believe I could bring a lot more changes, clarity and sincerity to the Office of Hawaiian Affairs for the people of Molokai and how they can interact with the trustee and with the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. I am scheduled to have a meet and greet on Oahu July 21st in Pearl City from one to four. We look forward to that and thank you very much.